Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss the 5 general features of Dynamics 365. I'm going to start off by showing you some of the filtering and searching techniques in 365 followed by the attachment feature. I'm going to show you how to attach certain documents in the system. Then I'm going to show you some of the very handy shortcuts available in Dynamics 365 followed by how to export data using Excel and in the last I'm going to show you the task recorder option through which we can prepare the task guides. So let's move on to the first topic of today, filters and searching. In this demonstration we're going to look a couple of different ways that we can filter in the system. So for example uh, we're going to go to the all purchase order list page so to get there, I'm going to go to the module section. Under modules, I'm going to go to accounts payable. Um, under purchase order, I'm going to select all purchase orders. Okay, so we have a list of all the purchase orders here. So the first one I'm going to show you on the left side here, we can see a bar and it has a little filter option. So let's click this to show the filters. Now we've got the filters pane open up here and it immediately has this field purchase orders uh, and it will search using the criteria that begins with. So there are a couple of different options that we can select from. I'm going to leave it as begins with. So whatever purchase order that begins with what we type will show up on our list here. So we can search for example begins with 0, 0, zero two and let's click apply so then it shows us all of our purchase orders that begin with that sequence of numbers there now we can change our filtering option here too we can change it to begin with we can change it to be exactly so now if we have this set to is exactly and we enter in zero 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 two Eight and click apply it would only show us that purchase order there now some of our other options here we can use contains does not contain is not one after so we've got a quite a few options we can use here so this first filter option here is just to searching by purchase order we can also click add a filter field and so with this add a filter field here, it lets us change all sorts of different dimensions here. It doesn't necessarily just have to be uh, something on the grid. We could filter for anything we would need to here. So let's go back out there now. Okay, then we're done using any filters. We can always reset by clicking the reset button. And then we can see we have all the results here on the grid now. Now this pane is going to show up until we go to a new page on the system or we exit out or we open a purchase order we can also click the hide filters button here so if i click back on the same filter icon it's going to hide our filters so the other way we can filter is with the quick filter at the top of the grid so we can start typing in what we want to search for so let's say we want to find only approved purchase orders so i'm going to type in approve here so you can see that the system decides which column is most appropriate for what I'm searching for. So it knows that one of the approval status is approved. So it's suggesting that we search by this. If we choose one of the other options here, uh, we wouldn't likely get any results. But let's click approval status here. All right. So now in our list here, we only have purchase orders that have the approve status is another way we could filter the column so let's first clear this filter out so that it gives us the list of all the purchase orders here so this other way is more similar to microsoft excel so we can at the top of our column headers here we can set up filters to look for certain information we can also choose to sort the column alphabetically from a to z or from z to a as well so let's see here let's go to the purchase order status column here and we'll click on the drop down here and i'm going to select is exactly for example i'm looking for all the purchase orders that have a status of open order so i'm going to type in open order here with the selection is exactly which means that it's going to bring up all the purchase order that has a status open order i'm going to click on apply 
and then we can see we only have purchase orders that have a status of open order we can also see there's a small icon of filter here which means that there's a filter applied we can if you want to remove the filter we can simply go back to the column and just say clear and it's going to clear out the filter and this should give us all our purchase orders okay there's a shortcut to use the filter options for example i don't know the exact name of a particular vendor the much i know about the vendor name is that it the name contains phone text somewhere so i can search on the vendor name i'm going to click on the vendor name so there's a there's a searching option there's a wild card of asterisk so if i type in asterisk which means that the name can start with anything followed by phone and then it can end with anything so i'm going to type in a star basically star or asterisk is is a wild card which means that anything can follow after Steric. so i'm going to click on apply so here you can see it brings up all the purchase orders uh, uh, whose vendor contains a text called phone similarly if i want to if i'm looking for something that ends with a text called video uh, for example i remember the name of the vendor uh, the the end part is video so i'm going to type in star and i'm going to type in video which means uh, in the beginning it could be anything but the end part should be video so i'm going to click on apply and it brings up all the purchase orders for the vendor southridge video so there are different ways that we can filter in the system knowing all these options and techniques makes our life easy so now i'm going to show you a couple of different search options we have available to us in 365 so the first option that we're going to look at is the navigation search so at the top of the page i can click on the search icon here so if i'm looking for the all customers list page here i'm going to click on the search icon i'm going to type in all customers and you can see the first result is what we are actually looking here um, and the larger text here on our search results is the name of the page itself so which is the all customers and down below is the subtext so the subtext actually tells you the location of this form which is accounts receivable under customers i will be able to find this particular form now down below we have some additional results as well these are just results that the system believes are related pages to whatever you search for there so in this case we are going to just choose our top result since we are certain that this is the one we want to work with so i'm going to click on all customers here And now that we have all customers list page open here, everything worked as according to the plan. Our navigation search took us to the correct page. So I can show you another type of search that we can do directly within a page. So you might notice that we have that search icon on the top of our page here. But we also on our action page, we have another search icon. So it's called the action search. So let's say that we are interested in looking up for all the sales orders related to the selected customers. I'm going to click on the search icon here. I'm going to type in sales and see what it comes up. Okay. So even after just typing in sales, we have some results that come up here. And so it tells us that we can look at the sales quotations for the customers and we can look at the sales orders. It also tells us that we can access this as well. So on our last page, when we use the navigation search, it told us what module it was part of. In this case, you can see the subtext here. It says sales order. And then also here we can see for the sales order, it says sell related information and then orders in the subtext there. So I'll show you what that's referring to. So for sales order, it's referring to the sell tab. So it's saying the sales order page can be found in this sell tab. And then in the related information group under orders where we can see sales orders okay so i'm going to go to the cell tab on the related information section under orders i'm going to select all sales orders and it brings up all the sales orders related to this particular customer so let's go back one more time and i'm going to type in sales order once more so the other thing we can do we don't necessarily just need to use this to find the subtext to know where we to look if i want i can just click directly on the sales order and it will take us right to the page for sales order then okay i'm going to close the sales order form and then i'm going to go the close the customer form 
and we move to the next topic now.